About two years ago, I was given the opportunity to apply uh, to give the Peyton Lecture, and so I thought it was such a fascinating area that it was important to uh, get the history out of my head and actually onto a PowerPoint slide. Uh, the, per the people involved in developing steroids were ab absolutely fascinating way back into the 16th century. Uh, but the main cataclysmic event, the introduction of steroids as drugs, occurred during the Second World War. And that story in itself is fascinating right the way through from the first patient who was given steroids and they miraculously leapt out of bed and were able to, after five years, go shopping in Manhattan right the way through to some of the very serious side effects of taking long-term steroids such as osteoporosis which cost the NHS millions of pounds a year. In my lecture I covered areas which involved intrigue, racism, miracles, suicide, other tragedies, hope. Uh, it was a really personal and uh, emotional type of uh, area and subject, you're getting to the people behind the molecules and the historical figures involved in the development of corticosteroids as drugs. So I started off by giving a little bit of a history of the adrenal gland which is the seat by, from which the corticosteroids are actually produced and then I talked about the collision in 1941 between endocrinology and pharmacology when the corticosteroids ceased to be just hormones and became drugs. Drugs which were very powerful and used to treat a whole range of inflammatory diseases such as rheumatoid arthritis. However, it became clear very quickly that these drugs were not without their side effects. And since then, we've had to be very much more careful in the way that they're used in patients with arthritis or psoriasis or inflammatory bowel diseases or asthma. I think uh, people were fascinated by the interaction between endocrinology and pharmacology. They have, in terms of steroids, been very much separate fields. But I think my talk sort of brought them together and gave an emphasis both from an endocrine point of view, endogenous steroids, and a pharmacological point of view. So I think people were fascinated by that and they were really interested in where this whole field of corticosteroid therapeutics is going to go in the future and it's a vast potential field of exploration and research.